Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to share 10 amazing ways to customize your OnePlus 5. These tips will allow you to derive maximum satisfaction from your new and shiny OnePlus 5. Now, whether you own a OnePlus 5 or not, this is the video to watch to digest personalization and customization capabilities of this smartphone. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Saki Tech Online and check the links in the description for brilliant and inexpensive OnePlus 5 accessories. Let's dive right in. All right, so let's talk about how to customize the LED notification light found on the top left corner of your phone to different colors. So let's go into the settings and then scroll all the way down to where it says display. Go to display and at the bottom of the display, you'll see LED notifications. And then when you tap it, you'll see a list of different options to customize the LED light. So as you can see right now, for the default notification for any notification is set to be orange. So I'm going to send a text message to myself and you can see it's lighting up to be orange. Let's change that. So let's go right back in. Let's unlock the phone and just tap on that color and choose any of these eight colors. Let's go with green. Click OK and let me resend myself a text message, which I just did. And as you can see, it is now lighting up to be green. Not bad at all. And of course, if we go right back in, you can see that you can change the colors for battery full, battery charging and battery low as well. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next tip. Let's go into the settings really quick from the top over here. And uh, what I want you guys to do is scroll down to where it says customization and then go into gestures. And that's what we're going to be talking about here. Now we have two kinds of gestures. We've got system gestures and screen off gestures. Screen off gestures apply only when the screen is turned off. All right. And the system gestures can be applied at any time. For example, you can flip the phone to mute. So if you enable this, and your phone is ringing, you just flip it over and it just mutes up. And the next system gesture is if you swipe down with three fingers, it takes a screenshot just like this. Okay, so as you can see, it just took a screenshot. So those are the system gestures. Now screen off gestures are the ones that are interesting because you can do these amazing little uh, things to launch apps, control music, and double tap to wake up the screen. So as you can see, I've enabled this one and this one. And also at the bottom here, it says if you draw O on the screen, it's going to launch the calculator app. If you draw V on the screen, it's going to launch the uh, shelf. So you have five drawable gestures. So let me demonstrate really quick so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's turn off the screen. First and foremost, I'm going to do this one. Double tap to wake, okay, which is actually quite a favorite gesture of mine. So if you double tap on the screen, it just wakes up, all right? Now let me just put my fingerprint, go back inside. And the other thing I'm going to talk about is then drawing a gesture to launch an application. As you can see, these are empty. I actually set these up already, but this one here is empty. So let me just create that. Let's go back in. And what you can do is you can open the camera. If I draw an S, open the front camera, record a video, open the flashlight, which is very useful again at nighttime. And or you can pick any app over here to launch it. OK, so let's just say that I want to do the gallery. OK, there we go. So I'm going to draw an O and a V to show you uh, what, how this works. By the way, the shelf is this thing right here. If you scroll up, this is called the shelf. Okay, this is a side screen with a bunch of widgets and you can add even more widgets by tapping that plus sign. If you tap on the widgets, you can pick any one of these widgets and just dump them on that uh, shelf. Anyway, turn off the screen. Let's draw an O to launch the calculator. And it's going to ask you a pin number if you already have a pin number or the fingerprint. You tap that, boom, the calculator is right up. Okay. And if I was to draw a V, let's do a V. That's supposed to take me to the shelf. So again, if I put my fingerprint, boom, I'm at the shelf right now. All right. And then if I go back and I draw an S, put my fingerprint, we have the gallery launched right away. So these are amazing little tactics to customize your uh, phone here. I really like the fact that they put it in this customization bar. Again, you go into gestures and you got system gestures and screen off gestures. And remember, you can also control music with the music. Basically, if you draw two lines with your fingers, it's going to play or pause the music. If you draw this symbol right here, the back symbol, it's going to go to the previous track. And if you draw this symbol, it's going to go to the next track. So you can test that out. I have not put some music on my phone yet, but these are all the things you can do. 
Next up, we're going to talk about the capacitive buttons, which are right here. So that's the back button and that's the recent keys button. OK, so these are actually fully customizable and you can even disable them and replace them with software capacitive buttons. Before I dive in, I'm just going to drop two quick tips for you guys. Uh, if you swipe up on the screen, it brings up the app drawer. And if you swipe down, it goes away. But if you swipe down on the main screen, it brings on the notifications panel. And at the bottom, you have an icon here that if you tap it, it actually clears up the um, notifications. So basically, you tap this and boom, all the notifications are gone. So these are, again, quick gestures to accomplish tasks faster. Now, let's go back into the settings over here, settings, and scroll down to customization. And let's go to uh, buttons. If you tap the buttons, you have a bunch of options here. Now, the first thing is if you do tap on these uh, capacitive buttons here, they actually light up very lightly. So there's a really low light that shows up the two buttons or two dots. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but um, you can actually disable that. So you don't have a backlight on the capacitive icons and that might save you some battery life, not too much, but a little bit. So I like to keep it enabled because I want to see where they are. And the other thing is you can swap these buttons. So this is the back button right now. And that's the recent apps button. What you can do is if you tap this swap, now this is the recent apps and that's the back key. All right. So you can do that as well. I like to keep it the way it is right now. And then of course, this is one thing that I'm talking about. You can actually enable the on screen navigation bar. Okay. If I enable this, it's going to disable this button and this button, as you can see, they're not working and it's going to replace that with the software key version. So now this is the back button, right? And that's the recent keys button. And even if I tap here, these are not working absolutely fantastic and of course the home key has been disabled by default it's still going to work as a fingerprint sensor but it's not going to work as a home key no matter how hard you press on it right but let's say you want to keep this active all you do is always enable home button so at least this these are gonna these are not going to work okay but this guy will work all right and uh, this is all up to you the way you like it the only problem with this thing that i have it's actually great to have this option but it actually takes away from the uh, screen real estate. So I like to disable it and keep my capacitive uh, buttons right here performing those functions. And of course, you've got the press power button twice for camera. So even if your phone is turned off, let's say your phone is in your pocket and you want to quickly pull it out and launch the camera. All you do is double tap the power button and boom, the camera gets launched almost immediately, instantaneously. Fantastic. Let's go back and continue looking at this stuff. And then if you scroll down, these are some of my favorites. So what you can do is you can actually add extra functionality to these capacitive buttons, the back key, the home key, and uh, the recent key. So any change I make here is going to apply to these two buttons. So let me give you an example. Let's talk about the back button. So if you long press the back button, you can perform a different action other than going back. All you do is tap this and choose what you want to do. So let's say I want to go to open shelf. So anytime I long press this, boom, it's going to actually launch the shelf long press. All right, let's go back into settings. These are some really good customization features. Oops, wrong one. Buttons, right? So scroll down and again, so let's see what happens when you double tap. So you can again, choose a different thing to do. So you can open split screen multitasking. You can open the uh, or close the notification center. So let's do that right now. So double tap and boom, the notification center comes right down. Uh, if you double tap it again, it goes away. And you can do this uh, customization with the home button, which is right here, and with the recents button, which is right here. So if I tap this one over here, so for example, this one here, the recents button is set up to open and close the menu when you long press it. So if I'm in the home screen, I can press and hold and that brings up the customization menu from where you can pick a wallpaper, you know, go to the widgets or just go back into the settings uh, for the actual home screen. And uh, let me go back out. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's go back into settings, go to buttons, scroll down. Same thing you can do with the home button. And of course, it's important to understand that when you come up here and you enable on screen navigation, Unfortunately, these, uh, these tactics get disabled for the recents button and back button. So if I tap this, it's not going to work. Okay. Uh, the only one that's going to work 
Let me see where we go, right here. The only one that's gonna work is the home screen. All right, so that is the buttons. Let's move on to the next set of tips. And of course, the next one has to do with the status bar, which is the bar on the top here that's got all these tiny icons, the Wi-Fi icon, the clock, the battery. So again, if you go into the settings, and if you scroll down to uh, status bar and you tap it, it's gonna allow you to uh, disable and enable a lot of the icons over here. So all you do, well, first of all, you can do the battery style. So you can pick a battery bar if you want. So that's a battery bar. You can pick a battery circle or you can pick battery hidden. That's gonna hide the battery meter. You can do the percentage for the battery. So that's 63% battery life. You can display the network speed. So not only is it gonna show uh, the Wi-Fi connection, it's gonna show you how fast the network is moving right now. It's nothing that's happening right now, so it's gonna be low, but if you're watching a movie or if you're uh, browsing the web, it's gonna show you the network speed, the total speed. And of course, you can go into time and from here, you can modify the clock on the top. So I can go for this look, uh, that's uh, seconds included in that clock. Or I can go to Icons Manager. Let's say I don't want this Wi-Fi icon right here, okay? And what I can do is I can go and I can disable the Wi-Fi icon, okay? So any icon here can be enabled or disabled. All right, let's move on to the next tip. Now remember I told you guys there's a shelf on the side here. This is a very good thing. It's just a bunch of widgets, so it's nice to have widgets on the side screen. Uh, if you don't like it, you can turn it off. All you do is press and hold on the screen, go into the settings, and turn off the shelf. Okay, now the shelf is disabled, if you don't like it. Let's go back and see what else we can do. So let's enable that. And you can also uh, enable or disable the swipe down function, uh, which brings down the quick settings. So if I swipe down, it brings the quick settings and my notifications. But if you don't want it, again, you can uh, disable this. It could be intrusive for some people. And the next up, you can actually change the icon pack. So if I tap on the icon pack, it allows me to change the icons, the way the icons look. Right now, we are looking at the OnePlus theme. We can do a rounded theme. So as you can see, they have changed a little bit. So that's that, and that's that, and you can even do square. Okay, so if I do this one, let's go back. It's gonna apply it. That's a quick application, by the way, very non-laggy. So now we have square icon packs. Again, you go back in, go to settings, icon pack. You can do for the rounded ones, and they look fantastic as well. So now we have a rounded icon pack. And of course, if you go into the settings, as you can see, it's all bright white. It doesn't seem to match with everything else you're doing. You pull this down, it's black. Then you go to the settings, it's white. What you can do is if you scroll down to device and go to display, you can go to system theme. And from here, you can pick the dark theme. The default is white, but you can go to the dark theme, uh, which makes everything dark. So it's more consistent with everything else you're looking at. All right. Even these uh, things changed up a little bit. So you can do that as well. Let me for now keep it at the default, which is the white one. All right, so you have a lot of options to customize this phone. Also, you can uh, do the display size, so you can change the size of the display. So as you can see, you can make it bigger, uh, smaller if you want to, so you can see more on the screen uh, if you customize the display, as you can see. So there's simply more on the screen right now than it was prior. Let me just keep it at the default. All right, I like the way uh, how these uh, options when you set them they just switch very quickly without wasting any time in real time almost and the final tip I'm gonna show you guys is again has to do with the home screen if you tap this and hold it it brings up this menu we already looked at it but there's a button here if you press it it actually allows you to align the icons okay so it's gonna put them all together but you can undo that uh, mistake so if you let's say you align everything together you don't like the way it looks uh, you can undo what you just did I only have two icons, so it doesn't show you the full uh, power of this thing, but it's just gonna aggregate everything together. It's gonna make it nice and clean. But again, if you don't like it, boom, reverse it. All right. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.